I imagine um, most of the subscribers to my channel and viewers know who Pelagius was, <coughs> and definitely anybody who's studied anything about church history or the early church knows exactly who Pelagius was. Um, I got a question from Canon Wired, who has up these these videos about about Douglas Wilson, and he asks, "Hey, quick question: How would you describe Pelagian or semi-Pelagian view of salvation? How would Pelagian describe the process of being saved? Specifically, what part would he play in it?" This would help me understand where you're coming from. Well, again, it's the the okay uh, character characterized um, the reactions against Pelagius. Um, Pelagius, which I, I've seen different evidence to make me think maybe Pelagius was very orthodox in what he said, but those who were opposing Pelagius were claiming that he said um, Adam only set a bad example and that <coughs> we're all basically like Adam and Christ set the good example. Um, I've also heard rumors that he recanted that, but there's always, throughout history, recanting, recanting, recanting. Pelagius was in the West. He was an Irish monk living around the time of Augustine when they debated. Um, not formally debated, but hold two opposing views. Um, view the... See, the, I, I don't know if this is going to help you at all with this. Um... See, what, uh, what Douglas Wilson said about homosexuality uh, being genetic, that that would be, that's Pelagianism. No, that's Augustinianism. That's Augustine. That's original sin, saying that um, Adam's sin was transferred to people and there's nothing you could do about it. Pelagius would have said, let's say, I don't know the int intimate details of his thoughts, if we're going by Pelagius, or Pelagi if it's Pelagianism we're talking about, homosexuality can be overcome. It would be Augustinianism that said, no, it's an integral part of who you are because of original sin, you're original sinner, there's nothing, you know, you, you know, almost speaking as if the image of God is destroyed in mankind, which is what John Calvin said. Um, total depravity. And looking at some of Augustine's writings, it almost seems that he believed in total depravity. So when Douglas Wilson said that people who claim that homosexuality was genetic, well, that's just Pelagianism, um, I was suspending doubt for a while, but I showed to a couple other people. He's using that word because he knows evangelicals aren't educated in the early church. That is the exact opposite of Pelagianism. Pelagianism would say, you can do it by yourself. If we're taking a caricature of Pelagianism. Um, now, if we want to get down to what he what he actually taught, I mean, do you want me to sit here and read it? Like, you know, all the writings that are, are attributed about him. Um, Augustine argued from original sin. We have two things, Augustine and Pelagius. Uh, when people accuse us of being semi-Pelagian, it's because we reject original sin, something created by Augustine. The reason why we reject original sin is because it's not in the Bible. It's from a one, one line in Paul's epistles, I believe it's Romans. In one epistle, one line of Paul that got mistranslated from Greek into Latin, um, and Augustine took that and ran away with it. <coughs> so, when we say we don't believe in original sin, of course we don't say Adam only set a bad example and Jesus just set a good exa example. Um, no. We don't say that, but anytime you call somebody semi, um, a Sabellianist would call 
um, the Orthodox, the Protestants, and the Roman Catholics, semi-Arians. Well, what does that mean? The Arians would, would call the Orthodox, the um, Protestants, and the Roman Catholics semi-Sabellianists. When you're semi-something, it just means you reject the opposite extreme. Um, so it's semi-Pelagian. It just I actually, somebody had called me that and I made a different video saying semi-Pelagian. What the hell is a semi-Pelagian? It's If you're calling somebody a semi-Pelagian, it's automatic. It's semi-Augustinian. Because usually those are the two polar opposites of that argument. Those are the two ends of the argument. It's just like saying someone's a semi-Calvinist. Well, they'd be semi-Arminianist, right? <laughs> or if somebody's uh, semi-Catholic, they would be semi-Protestant. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's like saying semi-heretical. What, what does that mean? Um, but what might help you understand is when Douglas Wilson said, and I, keep, I must repeat this, when he said, those who believe that homosexuality is genetic um, well, that's just Pelagianism. No, Pelagius would have said you can, you can live an unsinful life. That's your choice. Um, so I think he was being uh, very arrogant and sneaky. And yes, when talking to a, an evangelical crowd or a Protestant crowd, they wouldn't get that. But if you're talking to, let's say, an Anglican, like... Um, Albert at Labarm 312, um, a very well uh, read Gnostic like James at Pandaria's Box, or anyone in the Eastern Orthodox Church, including myself, who n even has any cursory knowledge of who these people are, uh, you just say, you're just using a big word and you just, that's not, that's absolutely abjectly not true if he knew anything about Pelagius or Pelagianism. In fact, those who say, um, homosexuality is genetic, is totally in line with Augustine in original sin, that man had been corrupted, that man bears the guilt of Adam. We don't believe man bears the guilt of Adam. <sighs> Which is why we don't believe um, people are born sinful under the wrath of God, no. We're born into a broken world, but we don't bear any of the guilt of Adam whatsoever. And St. Augustine's view, being carried on in the Roman Catholic Church, uh, basically, original sin is like a, it's a sexually transmitted disease, which is why they had to have Mary be, you know, suspended from sin because they had the view of everyone sinful. Well, no, the Virgin Mary didn't need to be suspended from original sin because there was no original sin to begin with, ever. Um, in people. And this idea of original sin led up to Anselm's view of atonement, which I, I will make a video because I've been getting a lot of requests about that. I'll, I'll probably either re-upload an old one or just make a new one. And then this led to John Calvin. So I hope this ha helps you out. Peace to you. And I will explain, go into the sign more. God save Serbia. This has been Yusuf.